Hey, this is Michael Lindsay. I'm down here in Marietta, California at Twisted Development. Today, well, we're gonna try to clear up something. I'm always talking about in reviews about, oh, you know, the mapping on this bike. This one's really crisp. This one's really connected. This one's got a bit of a flat spot. And guys are always going, well, how do you work on that? How do you deal with that? What, what can you do? I always tell them, man, you need to work with somebody that really knows what they're doing, somebody that can map and set up your bikes. There are some options with stock ECUs, there's even further options with aftermarket ECUs, and we decided to stop by today, check in with Jamie Ellis, and he's gonna try to walk us through a few more of those options and basically explain what the heck we've been talking about. So one of the things that's always gonna leave ECU tuning up to guys like myself or shops is that whenever these OEMs produce motorcycles, they have to produce them to go across the world. So the biggest thing is, is that if KTM, a race winning brand, has a ready to race motorcycle and they don't map it for each and every part of the world, they have to put some safety into their programs so that motorcycles don't blow up and there's not a ton of lawsuits and they're not recalling bikes. Like That's just good business. I'd say the biggest thing of what we do above and beyond what the OEMs are capable of is the user interface between setting the bike up to the way that you want to ride it. And that's a big thing because you've tested a lot of motorcycles in your day and I'm sure some of them have certain characteristics you wish they didn't have, but for the average customer they buy a bike and all that they know is the way that that bike rides. They don't even really know it's possible to make it ride like their old one or have some characteristics go away. Um, I think you know with some of the chassis stuff that we're able to do just through the electronics alone can make the forks feel different, softer, ride higher in the stroke. We all got into this sport because we love riding motorcycles and there's nothing better than having a motorcycle that rides the way you love to ride it. This is a pretty good dyno chart so you can see um, a little bit on the leaner side the stock ECU was. So just getting it to a baseline of down to 13 to 1 all the way across the board here. Um, you can see the power output difference. So this would be the standard ECU, this would be power, and then this would be torque. And then just putting on an aftermarket ECU with a high flowing exhaust would be, this is the blue torque line now, and then this is the blue power output. So going back to what we can do, if this were a tunable stock ECU, we could get this down rich, get it running. We couldn't do anything about the amount of RPM of how far this thing can rev. So that's you know, a prime example of like if this was a tunable stock ECU, we could richen this up, power would come up, everything would get better, um, and we probably could get pretty close to somewhat the same here, um, but some of the features are easy to start, cool other map options and all that type of stuff. So I'd say that that's a, probably a pretty good example of what can be done between fixing the parameters of a stock ECU versus what we can do with an aftermarket ECU. So pretty cool to see. So the smooth line for power, in our opinion, is just the fact that we're getting the air fuel right. It's making way more power is going to connect and be smoother out of every turn or you know every bump or whatever you're doing. So I mean, you can see that sometimes the leanness will like give a little bit of wiggle, uh, where when we fill in the fuel curve, we're getting a nice round. So. For, for that to feel like it has a hard hit, like where's that hard hit gonna come from? If you had like a big hole in the mapping down in this area, let's say between five and six RPM, and or this was steep and then came up, that could be what would feel as if a hard hit, but this is just gonna track or it's gonna pull real smooth, real hard, and real predictable. So this is just what we use kind of as a throttle stop. If this were a drive-by-wire, system or something like that you could just tell the computer to go to 30 percent throttle at what opening rate but with uh with motorcycles we're not there yet so we just use a a manual stop that way we can kind of go through each rpm range and get everything working as good as we can so so this just kind of functions as a um throttle stop pretty basic you'll just open it until it hits the brake lever and then um, loosen it Move it, go again, go again, go again, go again. So it just takes a long time, but it's, it's really the only right way to do it because you're more in this partial throttle position than you are just wide open. So if we were just to go off of wide open, we'd be done right now, but it wouldn't feel much better. So the, the rate of throttle enrichment and everything through the bottom end of the throttle is uh, what's the most important. Basically what it is is just an Excel spreadsheet is what kind of the base format is. So you have a, the maps going down, so this is an RPM, and you have the throttle position is going across. So this going down, that's its own map. So 
you know, to, to tune one bike, we have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten maps um, as far as to this positioning all the way down, all the way down. So we'll do next is what you'll see, 5% throttle, but it'll be through every RPM range. And the biggest thing is, is let's say when you give it the gas, you may go like this, depending on how on and off gas you are. So to get the whole ignition curve and fuel curve within the parameters of as you're rolling through, all of these values of injector duty cycle need to be correct. So what you feel is just a really connected motorcycle, but what the real work is, is just getting everything to where it needs to be. With a stock ECU, these uh, are editable here. You can see, you can change the RPM ranges, the throttle positions, whatnot. So you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six points of throttle position and six points of RPM that you can actually edit. So you choose the ones that need the most work. Uh, when you go into, a, say, a Vortex ECU, you know, you're know you gonna get over 10 points and a ton of more clarity between every 250 RPM through, where with the OEM software, we can only get to so much. Probably one of the coolest thing we do as a company here at Twisted Development is our vet customers. Um, because these are guys that have worked their whole life they're obviously a bit successful now they can afford to go motorcycle racing and whenever you impact a guy's life like this where they feel safer on the motorcycle because they can trust how it's gonna the power delivery is or they can set it up the way that they want to ride um, it's always super rewarding because these guys you know the, the whole that guys pay the bills well they do it's you know they they pay for their kids to race they pay for themselves to race and it's such a cool part to help those guys because they're always so stoked. Anytime you can get them over some jump they never got over because they feel more confident or, or come home safe to ride another day or, or whatever it may be, these guys are the most rewarding customers to work with. So we're actually going to be trackside at Glen Helen Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the World Vet Motocross Championship to do free ECU testing for any customer that ever thought an ECU can make a difference. Uh, we're going to show up and put an ECU on your current motorcycle. There's no charge. It's an open practice day. You can go out, you can make as many changes as you want. You can work with us as far as to how you would like your motorcycle to feel, and we can make these changes. So if you ever had any questions, whether you're racing World Vet or just showing up to Glen Helen on a Thursday, uh, we're gonna be there with ECUs, with all of our programming to program stock ECUs, and just kind of open up to the public and get some customer engagement going. It's gonna be really fun. There's no secret that all of the factory teams are pretty much during motocross season showing up to Glen Helen to test on a Thursday. Uh, it's one of the gnarliest tracks that we have in our area. The hills are very steep, both going down and up. There's a lot of acceleration chop. Uh, so one of the cool things is, is most people feel that coming down the hills, by the time we free up the engine braking, the forks go higher in the stroke. They're more plush, they're more functioning and feel a little bit more confident to bomb down the hill that the bike isn't gonna unload. So it's a good event for us because we get that customer engagement. Uh, the track is obviously gnarly with everything else. So anytime you can make a difference, it's on a track like that. You know, if it was gonna be someplace that was smooth and no bumps, everything I think feels pretty good there if it makes more power. But the feeling that you may get of testing somewhere like Glen Helen is pretty awesome.